in uh, synchronous intermittent mandatory ventilation SINV the ventilator settings include FIO2 here at 40% the target or the control is a tidal volume in this example at 500 ml that will be delivered with a flow rate of 30 liters per minute the inspiratory time is set at 1.5 seconds which is the cycling mechanism in this mode now the rate is set at 8 press per minute indicating that the trigger is time every 7.5 seconds which is 60 seconds divided by 8 we have a positive uh, inspiratory and inspiratory pressure at 5 cm of water and the ramp or the slope the rise of the pressure pressure supported press will be set at 0.2 seconds meaning that it will take 0.2 seconds to get to the maximum pressure support that is set on the machine and this is set by the operator at 10 cm of water for the spontaneous breaths now if the patient is not making any efforts the patient will have intermittent, intermittent mandatory ventilation of eight press each one is going to be with 500 ml so the trigger would be time for those press and every 7.5 seconds will be a breath once the breath is triggered the machine will deliver tidal volume a tidal volume of 500 and that will be delivered with a flow rate of 30 liter uh, liters per minute and the flow waveform is a square wave a constant flow goes up to 30 liters and is maintained at 30 liters the cycling will occur after 1.5 seconds and since we're able to deliver 0.5 liter of air with that flow rate of 30 liters in only one second thus we have a plateau of 0.5 seconds you can you can you notice here that the flow is zero and the volume is constant which is after delivering 500 into the lung and the pressure that is required to maintain to keep that volume inside the lung is that is a plateau pressure once the time is elapsed after 1.5 seconds the expiration starts and notice the expiratory flow now the patient is not breathing so his mandatory ventilation is 500 multiplied by 8 if this patient decide to breathe there are two windows that we need to appreciate the first window is the supported window which would occur in the early phase of expiration here if the patient decides to inhale again here it will be a supported breath and each breath will be supported by 10 centimeters of water now this uh, phase is 90 percent of the uh, respiratory cycle and the remaining 10 percent of the uh, respiratory cycle will be a synchronized breath a synchronized uh, period or window meaning that if the patient decided to breathe here the next mandatory breath will synchronize with this efforts and it will be given to the patient earlier than it was supposed to be given so preventing any dyssynchrony with the ventilator during this time so let's see this in action so this is a patient the first breath is going to be mandatory and then i will let the patient breathe so this is a mandatory breath and then now the patient the circuit is open for the patient so he can initiate a breath So let's analyze this and I will freeze it for you. 
So the first breath here is the mandatory breath that occurred after 7.5 seconds and triggered by the time. It's a mandatory breath given with uh, a tidal volume of 500 and the flow rate is 30 liters per minute. Now, the second breath is a breath that occurred in the supported or synchronized window. Patient took an effort, an effort here, so the next mandatory breath occurred a little bit earlier and was given with the same control, which is a tidal volume of 500. Notice the flow is similar to the previous breath. So this is a controlled breath or a mandatory breath. This breath here is a synchronized breath. Now the breath after that occurred in the supported window. So the, in, the patient's efforts here were supported with a pressure support of 10. So you can see the pressure goes up to 10 and is limited at 10 centimeters of water for the duration of inspiration. The inspiration here is not 1.5 seconds. It is determined by the patient, patient's inspiratory flow. Once this flow reaches a 25%, and you can change that uh, on certain ventilators, when in, once the patients reach 25% of the maximum inspiratory flow, that pressure is released and the breath is ended. And notice that the patient delivered larger tidal volume than 500 in his inspiratory effort that is supported by pressure support of team. You can change that pressure support uh, level depending on the patient's condition. Now, the following breath, you can see that there is uh, 7.5 seconds elapsed and the patient did not initiate any inspiratory efforts. Thus, a mandatory breath is given to the patient and that breath is time triggered, flow limited, volume controlled, and time cycled. Thank you.